So now we get to the second part of the interview where I have to ask further questions to understand your problem better. Okay, now that I know your history. I just need a little cooperation from you. I won't take too much of your time. Is that okay? Okay. So how has the mood been lately? Generally, it's been okay. It's been just about the same. It's okay throughout the day or you have, have you been having mood swings? On the whole, uh, it's been fairly the same. I haven't had any highs or lows. I must say though that there have been very, very few times when I've, I've been quite down there. The anxiety gets so bad, I can really go down. What about your sleep and your appetite? Has there been any changes lately? No, no. It's been, it's been just for the same. Yes. And how about your concentration? Are you able to concentrate very well? Read a newspaper through and through, watch a TV show? Uh, that, that's a problem. I can't seem to concentrate on anything for too long. I can't watch a TV program. I can't read a book. It does just come in and I can't concentrate. No, I can't. I have a memory problem. Do you have any problem with remembering things? No, I, I don't have a problem with memory. It's just the concentration. So how do you feel about the future? Well, I can see a bright future ahead. Taking out this problem. But otherwise, I'm looking for to big things. Okay. Do you worry about causing harm to other people? Or do you have thoughts of causing harm to other people? Actually, on the contrary, I am. What I, I, I do most of the time is trying to protect other people because I have to prevent the infection being carried to my family and I don't think that's harming them okay. yes so no I don't I don't have any thoughts of harming anyone but I do I do to protect them instead okay. so you're looking forward to a very bright future yes that's good so I think you don't have any thoughts of taking your life or have you ever thought about that? See, I don't have any... Well, when I, I get really anxious, there, there, there's been times when I can get really anxious and at the other time I, I just want to stand in the middle of the street or something, just an escape, but I haven't come around to do it yet, you know, and Afterwards, I never think about it. But the fear is one of these days I might just end up doing it. Yes. Okay. okay, these thoughts that keep coming into your mind. If you try, have you ever tried to resist them? I always do. I always try to, but they won't go away. And un until I've done something actively, wash my hands for one. They will just not go away. I can't do anything about them. They're just there, just in my mind. So you have to wash your hands all the time. About how many times in a day? So many times. It's, it's embarrassing. I have to, sometimes even up to 30 times a day. Mm. Yes, and it's not just the washing of hands. I have to clean door handles and clean surfaces. That's about everything that regards clean. Okay. I do over and over and over again in a day. So how is affecting your life, your job, relationship with family members? Well, uh, it's it's really having a bad impact on my life. I can't make, I can't keep appointments, and I'm always late, and it's 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 bad. And I can see people drawing away from me because I think they see the things I do to. On the awkward side, and I can see them drawing away. So, when you have these thoughts, just in case you don't try to wash your hands or clean surfaces, what happens to you? The, the, the thoughts will never go away until I've done, I've done either washing my hands or cleaning the door handle. 
something. They just won't go away. I always end up doing them. At least it gives me some relief. So would you say you are an anxious person? I wouldn't have described myself as being anxious before. I mean, this is making me anxious. Do you sometimes think these thoughts are irrational? Yes. Yes, I do. Actually, while doing them, they don't seem irrational, but then afterwards when I think about them, they are irrational. And do you think these thoughts are your own thoughts, or you believe there's somebody out there who's putting these thoughts into your head? You know, these... I think these are my own thoughts. I don't I don't think there's any external influence. No. They are my own thoughts. Okay. Do you believe there's somebody out there trying to harm you in any way? Not that I can think of, no. And sometimes when you watch a TV show or listen to a radio program, you have a feeling you are being talked about. No, that's a first. I, I've never had such an experience. This might not be very relevant to you, but do you have any abnormal perceptions? Hearing voices when there was nobody around to explain it, and when there was, there was nobody around you, or seeing visions, or smelling unusual scents when nobody else can smell it? <laughs> no, no. I've never had it. So do you believe you are ill? I didn't want to see it that way, but it seems that's, that's how it's ended up turning out to be. Because it's, it's, it's a bit abnormal. So you are willing to receive any help you can give? Pharmacological or psychological help? Okay, I'm not really a medicine guy, but any help, uh, I prefer psychological therapy okay. psychological to keep the answers that's all right yes okay, so do you, do you know where you are now yes uh, can you tell me please there's a psychiatry department of governorship Chi teaching hospital you know what time and date for this uh, it's about 3 p.m and today is the first of april 2000 do you know who I am? Yeah, Dr. Sage, which is an attendant psychiatrist. Okay. So that will be all for now. Thanks very much for your cooperation. Okay? Thank you. You're welcome.